It's a bad joke, huh, dear? Yep. We're teasing these guys, aren't we? Uh-huh. So for all you LEGO fans out there, you probably recognize these two sets here on the outside. You might not recognize the ones here in the middle, but for those of you that know your brick brands, you probably recognize this and you know what this is, and for sure you know that what you're seeing is an illusion. They look really good, right? They look great, but unfortunately, this is a good thing, maybe a bad thing, but look, I know, it's a joke. If I pull the two in the front out, they're like a quarter size of a modular. What can we do? Oh no. Now you know how small they really are. They're really, really tiny. First and foremost, thank you so much to Enlighten. Enlighten are the guys that made these and they make other brick stuff too. They have a bunch of military stuff, but thank you so much to them for sending me the sample so I can review this for you guys. It's the closest thing they have to a modular city. Well, it's more like a front. So we're gonna split this up into two videos. So dear, you ready for this? Let's do it. Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty. And thank you so much to Enlighten. These guys have sent me this. This is very small, right? I know this desk looks really nasty. This is not the new table. Our new table is arriving next week. Come on, dear. We gotta do this together. Yeah, right! Look, I got this cheap wood-looking thing. I wonder if this will work. So what you're seeing is Enlighten Sunshine Hotel, 1127, 628 pieces. Yeah. We've been cheated. Oh. But the funny thing is, even though it is really small, it's actually really awesome. Like, the detail of the front is really, really good. Like, I really like it. Really love putting it together. The clutch on this thing is, is insane. Look at that. It's not gonna fall off. This thing is like rock solid. Put the sign here, because, you know, one third. Look at that. Yeah, you can build this. Your kids can knock it over. Nothing's gonna come off. So on the front here, we have the windows. The windows are all right. There's nothing special about them. Some of them are like kind of scratched out, but you know, especially the one on the top, which you're gonna see is kind of like rough, but hey, these things get scratched all the time. So I'm used to that. So we got the windowsill here. We got little, like little flowers, very minimal. They do have a little menu sign here, today's special. And that's it. It is so small. I just kind of wish they had tiled the front here because it's such a waste of like, it's just like wasted studs. What's interesting is that the sign here is actually printed. Yay, printed sign, no stickers, thank you, hallelujah. I love printed stuff, uh, Sunshine Hotel. Plus one for me. All right, then you got the second floor here, which is kind of like the balcony area. I mean, it's just more windows, there's nothing much there. I like it. I actually really like here too, if we go up further up to the, the rooftop part. The design here is actually pretty cool. I like how it arches out and like all the studs fit inside. You know, this is actually really cool. I'm totally okay with the look of this. It looks so good, it's just, ah, oh, it's just, it's just missing an entire back. And then you got another printed logo here, which is the S for Sunshine Hotel, I guess. It's like a fiery looking logo. And you got the chimney. Chimney's really cool. I like that. And I really love the rooftop, like the arch, the design here. It's just so secure. Just, oh, I wish it just was bigger. So yeah, you guys that are buying on my store, I know you're buying them in doubles. Some people I think are buying them in fours or you know, recommending me buy like, expand it out, make it higher, make it longer, make it wider, make it bigger. And let's just flip it around because that's all for the front. Now the back is, yeah, it's not much going on inside. But you're buying the set probably for this, not too much for this, but at least you can still play around with it. Let's just take a look at the bottom. It's actually almost totally covered up. There's no room to put anything, just a flower pot. And I put an extra stud in the flower pot because the flower kept falling out. But you know, if you can fit whatever you want there, you can put more stuff. I don't know what you're gonna do with that. Can't do anything with it here. Surprisingly, here on the second floor, they actually made space that you can sit down and eat your food. And I love the tile. Look at the tile. The tile's awesome. It's got fruit on there. Strawberry, bananas. I like that. I actually like the printed tiles, like the logo on the front, especially the other set, which is gonna be the other video. Awesome, awesome little set. And then finally up here, you got the attic. There's not much else. You know, there's, there's just empty, there's nothing in there. It's just the roofing. So that's it, this is a really short review, man. I mean, there's not much more I can say about it. But let's just take a look at the other stuff that comes with it, because it does have a vehicle. Let's take a look at the vehicle, which is on deer right now. Yeah, there it is. I actually really like this car. Like it's old school, but it, it looks good. It doesn't look like some of the other brands that we saw earlier, like cars look kind of funky, but this one actually looks pretty dope. I like it. And again, printed, printed Sunshine Hotel logo. It says victory on both sides and victory on the back. I guess this is a victory car. Yeah. And now it's time to look at the minifigures. Alrighty, so for the three minifigures here, we got this handsome looking gentleman who probably runs the Sunshine Hotel. And this is Benjamin Mountjoy. You've been wanting to be a minifigure. Here you go. You own this hotel. It's yours. Next up, we got this Victorian looking lovely lady. And she is 
Super Xander's mom. Thank you so much for the comment. I will make sure I get that poly bag. And the last minifigure we have here is probably maybe another owner, or maybe he's the one who owns the hotel, or he's the car driver. I don't know. But that's Bang Bricks. There you go. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for all your comments. And that's it for the minifigures. There you guys go. This is Enlightened Sunshine Hotel. Ah, oh, it was just, just a little bit bigger. It would have been more awesome, like double that size, like that thick. I had it back. Enlighten, please make some modular CDs because, you know, I'll buy them. I really like the clutch and I really like the bricks. I think they're totally fine. So there it is. Enlighten Sunshine Hotel. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Break me out. Bah! You know what? One thing about this being Sunshine Hotel, there's no room. That's right. There's only a restaurant. Where are the rooms? Where are they? I guess that's the bedroom up here. It's more like a prison. You know, can't do much in it. But, you know, no rooms, no toilet. But hey, Sunshine Hotel. How cool is that? This is a prop table that I use for a music video. And I know it's just, look at the colors on this table. It's nasty and it's so reflective. Oh no, don't stick that. Don't stick yet. Oh, I just made it really like way worse. It's like putting on a giant, giant, one of those giant iPhone screens here. Go like this. Oh yeah, we got it down. A little bit of bubbles there. Look at that. It almost looks like it's part of the street now. But until the table comes, we're gonna have to work with this. <laughs>